So we've come here to Edinburgh today to present the IET Christmas Lectures to Schools. It's called Powering the World, Electricity and Engineering. Uh, and it's basically a chance to sort of tell young people about something about the electricity system, some of the challenges that have been solved so far and some of the challenges that remain uh, to, to, to dealing with um, the future of the electricity network. Basically, I, I was sort of thought and motivated by someone, you know, I, I, I looked at other people around me to have that motivation to do what I'm doing just now. Um, and I can also feel that it is time for me to, to also make that impact in other people's lives by, you know, using my own experience and um, learning that I've, I've acquired to also impact life. Um, for the younger generation. The school children do a lot of um, science at school but they're not necessarily always told what engineering is. There's a bit of a misconception about what engineering is. So I think it's quite important that, that they're shown what engineering is, explain to them how they might be interested, the problem, that it's problem solving, that it's applied maths and physics um, and why they should consider it as something to study further study after school. Uh, doing practical demonstrations in schools who so getting children involved. It's just making them think and like get them into the inquisitive mindset. So literally I asking them if they've like ever done things at home and then say if they have then try it. If they haven't then try it. Like and that then then ask them like how that stuff works and then that starts to get the ball rolling and get them thinking. One of the bigger challenges for me is, is as someone who's done electrical and mechanical engineering is, 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 is engineering really isn't, it's not a small niche problem, it's, it's multifaceted, everything is multidisciplinary. We've already talked today about how we've got architects and everything involved, all the way right through politicians and economists involved in sort of the energy uh, problem and stuff, that sort of stuff. We've got a lot of challenges coming up. Climate change is the biggest challenge to the world that, that we've faced probably ever. And a lot of the solutions that can help us deal with climate change are engineering. So if you want to save the world, do engineering. <laughs>